When I was 14 months old, I had polio. When the dust settled, in a sense, it became obvious that I had uh, a, a left leg paralysis as a result of the polio. My mother thinks that um, because I was very sick as a child and I uh, had spent a lot of time in hospitals and doctors, um, at rehabilitation centers, I sort of grew somewhat accustomed to wanting to live a life where I treat people or help people with illnesses. At the age of 15, I already knew that I would be a doctor. Not even, no, no guesswork involved there. I was 100% sure. But my initial thought was that I would go to med school in Nigeria. Would have meant becoming a doctor probably at the age of 22 or 23 and then no specialization, no science, and just being a physician for the rest of my life. Um, so the, the real, uh, real change was, of course, the opportunity to, to come here, and then that broadened my horizons. My feeling was, if you want to study medicine, you study medicine. You work in a hospital, you help people. If you want to be a scientist, you work in a lab, and you play with things and you make discoveries and that was an entirely separate career track. So the real eye opener was being here and then realizing that these two in a sense are completely joined and, and that the best way to actually do medicine is to be a doctor who investigates. I work in the liver program, right? So the liver program is uh, sort of new here at Novartis. Um, but in the last five years, what we've done is actually uh, had a program that has grown in strength with people and in ideas and in a pipeline with medicines with real potential to treat a variety of liver diseases. The truth is that as a liver doctor, if I'm not able to get a liver transplant for any of my patients, they would die ultimately at the end. And I watch year after year as their therapies for a lot of other diseases, but for majority of my patients, there has been nothing. And now, the field moves and the science suggests that you could be successful in treating some aspects of this liver disease. But that's where that decision comes in. The next step of the journey of helping is be involved in actually producing something that would really help the people who need it most. I think I would have been a good doctor, no doubt about it. I mean, I think I would have, you know, settled somewhere near the village where I grew up delivered babies and, and dispose of malaria pills and antibiotics, I think that would have been my life and, and it would be fulfilling for that place and for that time. But I don't think I would have um, contributed as much as I would have the capacity to contribute. Um, I think that's just the truth of the matter.